after the prior day's round at Pebble Beach, how do we stay excited about lesser known RTJ designed Spanish Bay? By staying at the Spanish Bay Inn and walking the last few holes two nights in a row, that's how. I love Lynx Golf and I was looking forward to this round as much as and maybe even more than Pebble Beach. After a dream score at Pebble Beach the day before, I saw Spanish Bay as a fun walk to just enjoy the views, the nature and the quiet. Chit chat with Jeremy and enjoy our final day together. The golf shots are just something to do as you walk. I don't care about the score today. I let go of control and so just ripped a cold driver off the first tee right in the panty. Who cares where it goes players? We'll have a good time with subscriber and new friend Jeremy. Next is a side hill lie from 200 yards in the rough. I hit a delightful 7 iron with a ball above my feet as the wind did its job. I'm on the green in two shots on the first hole and the view is incredible. Is this what Brandon Boyd sang about in my all time favorite song, Wish You Were Here? You need to know the lines on the shots and trust them. My caddy gave me the perfect line for my distance, but my brain couldn't go far left enough. The commitment was to another line and so my body hit it on that line. But that's why I love Lynx Golf. You can hit runners and skidders and putt it from everywhere. Scared. I'm going straight in with this. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> oh man, I've got to leave myself some one foot as well. I got quite unlucky to be in this weird little hole next to the bunker instead of rolling into it. We just roll with the punches and try escape with as few strokes as possible. What a life. It's so easy to get lost in the views, the terrain and the sand dunes. This is a different experience to Pebble Beach. You've seen the Tiger Woods shot on hole 6. You know hole 7 is a gem and a hole in 1 could occur. You know Jack Nicholson loves hole 8. 
You've seen Tom Watson's chip on 17 and Nicholson's one iron into the wind to one foot. You've seen Molinari topping it off the first hole. But at Spanish Bay, I don't know anything. We're just there. We're hitting shots on a blank canvas. It's so fun to just be. The results of the shots don't matter because they're secondary to the beauty of the place. You're putting yourself into this oil painting for a moment. Yes. Oh. I just enjoyed being outside on the golf course, regardless of outcome, for the first time in a long time. We play with fantastic people, we have a fantastic significant other, we have fantastic food in a fantastic country with fantastic, amazing culture. What a life! Pebble Beach and Spanish Bay are the only two courses I was able to walk and not be forced to use a cart. It's no coincidence they were my two best rounds for the entire trip. I love walking golf and we walk all our rounds in Thailand even in 100 freedom degree heat. If the cart is mandatory, we have the caddies drive them while we walk. Walking golf gets you feeling the course, the contours, the energy, the vibe. It's an entirely different game to ride and rush. There's a deep connection between you and the course. It's sacred. On a golf cart, you're rushing from shot to shot without truly feeling the course beneath your feet. It's nigh on sacrilegious. How far is that bunker there, that green side? On the, the right. The green side? Um, yeah, that is green side. So to the bunkers up there, you have, you know, front edge of those bunkers, 310, something like that. Oh, bugger it. Let's hit a driver. Okay, so with a driver, Get up on the left side here yep. and then try to hit it just basically at that bunker. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, that's how we hit the 55 yard. That was amazing. I'm actually standing three foot below the hole. This is a slope in front of us. You can see there, that's just, it's just crazy up here. I've hit a superb shot. Beautiful, and it just drops off there down to where he is. There's a slope running right over here. So it's all I'm doing. You want to see. If you play here, you want to be middle of the green all day. Sorry, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. Good three. That was gorgeous. I called that birdie too before Dude, the drive. There's a sick birdie there. Okay, player, we're going to have to go low and a little fader, or just low and straight. That'll work. Just got to keep it under that thing there. Probably a six iron could get under there, but judging from the distance I'm at, I may have to go over it.
because he needed a read from Alex so, uh, You had to come babysit me for moral support with that lie. Yeah, pretty much like that. Wow. wow. Nice shot. When you took your practice swing, I thought I was where it was. Get in there, bad boy. Come on. Yeah, good shot, bro. I'd like that. I like that. Smashed. Spanish Bay was my favorite course of the trip. The entire experience at Pebble Beach is unlike any other. I highly recommend it and thank you to Jeremy for the weekend. And I promise to see you in Oregon one day. Legend. It's indescribable how special this weekend was. What the channel means to players really hit home on this trip. And I can't wait to bring you the way of the player 2.0. Strokes shaved. The Century System 2022 is the year we slash the world's handicap by another five strokes. Well, players, that's Spanish Bay. Luckily, the first fairway, where, where I pounded one, driver seven iron on the green, is sort of connected to the 18 foot, so we've got some space. If I hit my driver, I would have been dead up there. So get this one back in the fairway, get on the green, let's make a par, and let's see, maybe a bird, let's see what we're scoring so far. Not bad, it's not bad. That's Well, players, I found some birdie feathers for the first time, so I'm going to plant a couple of these bad boys. They're going to have to, fact, they're going to have to make a few. They have to make a birdie on the last, but we haven't had any feathers to plant since. 